What's up, chat, man? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 74. And boy, this is going to be a fun greasing of the wheel. This is going to be a blast, man. I just want to know, chat, are you guys ready, YouTube, man? If you guys are ready, hit the like button. This is actually Monday. Um, The reason why it's Monday is because... Oh, actually, I didn't do this yet. Oh, I can just do that one. But the reason why this is Monday, boys, as we check in here, what's up? How are you guys? The reason why it is Monday is because tomorrow we will be playing games pretty much the whole time. So, we had a podcast on Monday. I appreciate all you guys saying, are we getting a hype train? Lily? if you want a hype train, man, give some, give some subs. Put some bits out there for the people, you know what I'm saying? But this will definitely be a, a crazy show. A lot of stuff went on during the week, man. It definitely did in the, Mike, in the man community. My man Mike Flaw with the sub. Four months with my guy. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. But uh, it, it it was pretty dope. Now, I told you last week, I was cool not playing LCQ. I was cool. I was a little burnt out. I was kind of ass at the game. Not ass, but not good enough to really sweat it. And I really didn't sweat it. I tell you guys, I probably haven't played an SC game in three, four, three weeks. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'll tell you. Apparently, they got enough of you assholes out of here. <laughs> That did not grease the wheel. The feds did a sweep. Oh, man, Phenom with the sub. The feds did a sweep to the point where I believe I was ranked like 55. And somehow I wake up the emails. Now, I'll tell you. Now, there's a lot of more things. We can talk about hype train level one. Wesley is in here. Let's go, man. Now, I'll tell you. There's a lot. We got a lot of shit to talk about. Because there's also people that, for some reason, have a problem with the email. Now, I got an email. Me, I was, I'm sitting here playing MLB. I'm chilling. You know, I'm chilling, probably drinking, having a good time. We're in quarantine. I got my email. W, would you like to be a an alternate? And you know, I'm not boo-boo the fool. Of course, I'll say yes. <laughs> of course, I'll say yes. I'd love to be an alternate. I would love that. Yeah, I said, okay. Boom. I hit the like button. My man, Lili, with the five gifted. Let's get it popping, man. I appreciate you. He said he wanted a hype train. We just got the level two of the hype train, man. If you guys don't watch this podcast live, check out that link below, man. It's my Twitch. You can put your notifications on. Like I said, it's normally Tuesday. However, because of the LCQ games popping off tomorrow, uh, we, we are Monday. We are talking about it. We wanted to give. I wanted to give at least a day to just absorb what I say and everything, bro. We are definitely popping. Uh, and my man, D, my man D Wrigley with the five gifted too, boys. I appreciate y'all, man. We really getting it popping right now. We are at hype train. We are one tick away, three percent away from hype train level three. I appreciate y'all, man, for real. My man Wrigley, my man Lili. That's ten gifted total. I appreciate you guys. But I was gonna say, man. So, so I got my email, my alternate email. Now I will tell you, in my life, I have never got an alternate email. It was a little depressing. But I got my alternate email, chat. And when I get my email, I'm not going to say no. I hit the little. Now, this is, it is it is 2020. You know what's crazy to me about Gmail? My man Bobby with the gifted sub. There it is. Hype train level three complete. My man Bobby V, man. If you don't know Bobby V, man, make sure you follow him. He's up to date on all the mad news as well. All right, hey, man. But anyway, my man VS gifting. All right, man. All right, all right. See, I'm trying to tell a story. Y'all, we just hype training right now. I appreciate it. Boom, VS. So, essentially, in 2020, Gmail. Now, I don't know if you guys have used Gmail. I don't know what. Now, chat, let me know what email do you guys use. Do you use Yahoo? Do you use Gmail? I've been a Yahoo man most of my life and a Gmail man most of my life. I don't know what you guys use for email. But Gmail allows you. Gmail has, like, the dummy proof. My man posts with the five. Yifted. Ugh. Ugh. The post said, my man post said nobody gonna outdo my man post. My man post Majone. See y'all to see. He has gifted 155 total subs in the channel, man. There it is. And my man fo with the gifted sub. Thank you guys, man. But I use Gmail. Shout out to Post Majones for real. Now, Gmail gives you an option when you get an email to go ahead and like it literally has like three options at the end of the email. Tell me you guys know what I'm talking about. End of the email says, boom. Would you like to participate in the mantle? No, I don't want to participate. Yes, I would love to participate. Yes, or I have got the email, and yes, or something like that. It has three, bro, three different options you can hit. So I just hit yes, I'll play, boom. Because I'm thinking there's no way that they banned this many people. But apparently they banned a bunch of people. Now I have a list of the people they banned, and they banned enough for me to get into the tournament. So I'm going to have fun, and we're going to have a blast. And it did, it, it did realize, it did help me realize that, um, 
I should have been I should have been played. I, all I had to play was like ten more games and I would have easily made it, honestly. And I should have did that because it's gonna be a popping week. And now I'm glad I'm glad I am uh I'm involved. You know what I'm saying? I I would have been salty because you're never really salty until it happens that you're not involved. But so at the time I'm like, bro, I don't really care that much. But now we in there. So let's make the best of it. So it's gonna be fun this week. We're gonna talk about more about the streaming, uh more about everything uh throughout this show. But uh, I do wanna talk about the bands, man, because I mean I don't know uh i want to know this is that um I, I feel like we've talked about buying coins and buying coins and and coins and selling coins and greasing the wheel i feel like this has been a conversation for a while now on the show and throughout the man community honestly uh so for me they're not playing around you know they're really not they're not playing around now as the show goes on, chat, you and me, we, we will talk about whether or not what they're doing is right and what they're doing is wrong or they should make it easier or blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, they're not playing around. They got some rules and they're super enforcing them. Now, I don't know how they're enforcing. I don't know how they figure this stuff out. I don't know who you guys buy your coins from. Now, I saw Oreo sub early in the chat. Now, let's be honest here. We are a family. Oreo can talk to us about his process of buying coins. Like, how did you buy coins? Like, and that's what I want to know. So we got to figure out how you guys got caught. Because let's be honest, man. The feds are out there. And we are the people they're targeting. So if we're not going to work together, we're going to get got. So you buy from Daz and got caught buying from Daz. Yeah. So for me, it's like, man. For me, it's definitely. I don't know. Honestly, and we're talking about as we're talking about. What we are talking about now is just bands and everybody got banned. Now, we'll tell you the people that got banned. Um, on PlayStation, Jaybird got up out of there. I feel like Jaybird, bro. Whatever Jaybird is doing to buy coins, bro, I did see I did see it about Jaybird. And Jaybird is here. Well, Jaybird, what is your coin buying process? Because you are the worst criminal in the Madden community. You're the worst. I feel like you're banned every other month. You are banned. The, and my lion chat, you, whatever you're doing has to change. It, no, it had no, no, bro. He done got bro. He is the convicted felon five times over, bro. There's no way you keep doing it. See, and that's and and uh, Oreo. As I tell you that now, now, or, now Oreo. One thing as as I inquired because I, I was a little because I one I was surprised that I was still alive. <laughs> I made it out. <laughs> I made it out, man. They, they didn't get me. So I was like, damn, this is crazy that, you know, they really banned people, but they didn't get me. So I was a little, so, so, yeah, he fresh out, and they doing wild stuff. So, but I'll tell you the list of people that got banned, because I said, Jay Bird, Six Cents, uh, who was playing really well, Carrie, obviously, y'all know Carrie, I believe it's Prodigy, it's Prodigy, who just won Dream, Dream Hack uh, Anaheim, what, a month ago. So he's a hot player. So those four players got banned. Then on Xbox, Tony, Oreo, Shakobi, Ish, and Trey got banned on Xbox. Now, now as I see this chat, I see Jay Bird in here. I see Jay Bird in here, and I see um, Oreo in here. Now, now when I inquired about this, because I didn't know where I was going to take this podcast, because I, I was a little like, damn, that's crazy that I'm alive and these guys got banned. Is that right? Now, personally, as a man competitor, like, yeah, let's go, let's get it. Like, I want to get back in the tournament and, and try to make a run, right? But at the same time, as like, as a person in the community, it's like, bro, maybe this shit isn't right. But then I started thinking, so I inquired, you know, and I was like, man, why did these guys got banned and not me? And, and I want to know this question. What when was the last time you guys bought coins? Cause I feel like you guys are buying coins like right during the tournament. Like I, I and I think that's the main reason why you guys got got. Like I feel like you have to you have to be prepared before the tournament, bro. You can't you can't like while they're doing the audit, you guys bought coins. Like that's kind of crazy, chat. M March, but it was still March. Okay, March. All right, so Oreo, when did, all right, is anybody, March, okay, Jay Bird was March, talk to me about, like, when was the last time you bought coins, it was March, because I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't buy in March, I didn't buy coins in March, and I think maybe that, you know what I'm saying, yeah, Oreo bought, Oreo bought them bitches while they were doing the audit, I bought a day after the boards closed to make my limb team, yeah, 
That fucker definitely. Bought. Oh, they're auditing? Let me buy coins. Now, I'll be real. He was a little early. You got to get your name locked in the bracket, chat. Am I wrong? You have to get your name locked in the bracket. Right? And then maybe go buy some coins. My man Cuddy with the sub, man. Thank you. Am I wrong? Like, you have to be locked in the bracket, honestly. So he got a little crazy. I did not do the one last Lamar heist. I No, I didn't do it, though, because I was afraid. I was pussy. I did not do the last Lamar heist. I did not. I, I liquidated my assets. I have a lot of assets in my in my binder. I liquidated them, grabbed Lamar a couple times. Uh, so for me, it was tough. I did not do the last Lamar job. And uh, what else to say? So is anybody that didn't buy in March that got banned? That's my question. So going forward, chat. Now, the grease the wheel theory, I don't know if it's real. I still believe... Oh, so you were the first one banned. Okay, Oreo. So now we go Oreo. I'm saying. So Joe Re Deliverance is trying to take Joe Rice's spot. Did Joe Rice buy coins and they're taking him out of Madden Bowl? Is that what happened? Um, I, I, nah, I, I feel like you can play weekend league. Oh, so Wesley. All right, so Wesley got mutt banned, and Deliverance said, "I need that man bowl spot." Now listen, we're not gonna sit here and lie. Yeah, Henry, we in there. <laughs> we gonna fight. Thousand cap offense, baby. You know what I'm saying so deliverance said and then said bro put me in man boy I mean listen at the end of the day you gotta try you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take you know what I'm saying you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take so if I'm deliverance hell yeah yo ban him too you know what I'm saying I'm with that extra 5k you know but for me um but so so pretty much what I'm what we learned here what we learned whether what we learned here is that, listen you can't buy you gotta pick the date that all right let's go by this you well, you have the date of the tournament or whenever the audit is. Say the audit was here, what, March 24th, right? You can't buy coins a month before the, the end of the thing, all right? Can we agree on that, chat? We we get, we got to make it a little more difficult for them to catch us, all right? Do you got a 30-day rule, AG? That's right. Let's get a 30-day rule. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Wesley, you know, it's a 30-day rule. Now we might have to push it back to a, to a two-month rule. You know what I'm saying? I will be honest. After this shit, it's going to be pretty tough to buy coins. Now, this is the last tournament. Um, I don't know what the format's going to be as far as training. Because let's be honest, chat. The training is the shit. Yo, the training is the shit. Like, bro, the training is the shit that's just brutal, bro. It's just brutal. So I, I wonder if uh I wonder if um if it's gonna be the same if it's gonna be the same last year, bro. You know what I'm saying so we will see. Training does cost a lot. I I and they they have they have taken taken blah, 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 taken strides to make it a little easier with uh refunding the training. Now I will be the first to tell you, give me one give me one thousand one hundred percent of my training back. Um that uh, give me 100 percent of the training back give me 100 percent of the training and and uh, agree or disagree chat we agree with that a lot of this could be avoided give if i refund my training give me 100 percent. give me 100 percent. because this is the thing like if i'm the the person like us that are refunding mad refunding all these players training powering up all these players powering down all these players these are the players that are going to be on the game forever you, you know what i'm saying now, AG. Now that's now now that's one thing that we talked about. We talked about uh, as I've been playing MLB. MLB has that option. Can you buy coins? You can buy the coins, right? Just buy coins. I want a hundred thousand coins. I really think it's a legal thing, uh, or may, honestly, maybe it's like maybe you do, they do lose so much more money because the pack odds, you know, incre could increase people buying or increase people spending because they don't not sure what they're going to get i really don't know this is honestly as far as all like the virtual currency and the virtual money and the pay to play it's a lot of legal shit it really is and um it's a lot of 
it's a lot of shit that we really don't know, honestly. And the easy thing to do is say, bro, they just want to make more money, which is always true. But at the end of the day, we really don't know how all of it works, like how, like what they can get away with, what they can do, what they can't do. Uh, but for real. But for me, I do think. Um, what's the move at quarterback? Shout out my man G man. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy your uh, ten minutes, my guy. What's the move at quarterback, bro? Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, <laughs> what's the move at quarterback? No, for real. But the the power down one hundred percent would make a big deal. Uh, and that that honestly that as we talked about the banning that brings me to the next. The next topic that I always get into this conversation, bro, and I hate this conversation about, like, is it tough to be a pro man player, bro? That's that's what, like, I don't want to say, like, it's like, what, what entails a pro player? Now, I will be honest, man. These guys, and you got, and talk about a lot of, a lot of younger kids, a lot of the great players I've seen, like, you know, out of the people talking in the chat, I've really seen probably... 10 of the top 20 players in Madden in the chat. Bro, and these dudes are invested in the game, bro. Like, they really live the game, you know? And and, and for me, I feel like it's... And I feel like you guys have to take a... Uh, we have to take a, a step back and realize how big gaming is. Uh, gaming is enormous, bro. Gaming is a full-time career for both people, like, in it business-wise, in it playing-wise. Gaming is huge, bro. It is enormous. And Madden is... Madden is, is creeping to just get a piece of that, and they're trying to get up there. Obviously, they have a smaller base, and we talk about that all the time. But they are trying to get up there. So gaming is a big deal. If they're giving away a million dollars, as much as we say we want more, 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 they're giving away a million dollars. It's a big deal, and kids are taking it serious, you know. Even more so, when I won, what, three, four years ago, now there's 16-year-olds, people really taking Madden that much more serious and putting that much more time and effort into it so this 1000 as much as you don't realize it madden is a job for people it is a job it is not a hobby it is not something they do in their spare time it is something they do all day every day it's something they live thinking about and a lot of the people that say it's hard to compete man how can you want to compete against somebody that's doing it for a job i just don't think that's that's uh that is i don't think that's you know reasonable to think that you can compete with somebody that, that does it for a job i personally feel like this chat is that i do i do madden for a job like this what i do every day is play madden you know but i still feel like because i'm not putting the same time competitively and trying to get better you know at the highest level as these dudes do that i am behind because I'm just playing the game to play the game and make content and everything. And I feel like that's almost a separate trade from playing competitively. And it is a separate trade. You know, so how can somebody that works at Zaxby's, you know, for, for 40, 50 hours a week, want to come home and play Madden, you know, and try to compete is tough, you know? Now, I'm going to be honest, Zaxby's isn't the best example because somebody that works at Zaxby's... <laughs> Can probably probably doesn't have to really think a lot after it or during the job. They can probably get on and pop up. But uh, for me, uh, let's say somebody with a real job, like an accountant or somebody, say you're a, a teacher and you want to play Madden on it. Like, bro, you're not going to keep up. Just like I couldn't keep up. It's kind of like, I, I this is how I equate it to. Like, say you're an accountant, right? But you're hell at basketball, right? And you go play at the Y every night for four hours. You go to your accounting job, you go play basketball for four hours. Now you're 6'5", you know what I'm saying? You can ball, you can hoop, but here go Kevin Durant is playing basketball all fucking day, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or or, or Damian Lillard's playing basketball all damn day, his whole life. You know what I'm saying? How can somebody that plays for four hours a day and try to maintain a real life and everything compete with somebody that's in the gym 20 hours a day? You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's tough. It's tough to try to compete with these players. And, and this goes, bro... As much as we talk about Madden is expensive, man. Madden, if you play this shit, if you play the game, chat, if you play the game, I, you'll probably still want to buy coins because of the salary cap. I understand. I understand how it works. I do. I, I live this shit, bro. I live the game. Um, but I felt like if I played the game, if you play weekend league, if you do everything, they do give away a lot of coins, bro. They do give away a lot, a lot, a lot of coins. If you invest your time in the game. Now, a lot of people will just play their friends. They'll just play 
uh, money games, and they'll still invest in. They'll, they're getting better at the game, but they're not investing in the, the modes that you know what I'm saying bring you coins. So for me, I feel like one, you either have to invest your money or you have to invest your time. The best players are doing both. That's how I feel. You know, they really are. I really do feel like if you play weekend league and you can win 20 games a weekend league, I feel like you'll be cool on coins. If you play week now, I'll be honest. But people don't like playing weekend league. Weekend league is a chore. Weekend league is a chore for me, and I get paid to play this shit. I, I, I think about that. Weekend League is a chore for me, and I literally get paid to play Weekend League. Literally. That's how it works, and it's still a chore for me. So for those of you that really, yeah, for those of you that, you know, don't like playing, I understand that. But at the same time, that's what I mean about investing your time, investing your energy. It's kind of like, bro, does Damian Miller like running up hills every day to get better at basketball? No. You know what I'm saying? So do you like playing Weekend League to make your 500K every week? Probably not. But shit, Damian Miller's running up that fucking hill. You know, and it's people that don't want to buy coins and get caught buying coins are playing 25 games a weekend league. You know? That's all I'm saying. You know, so if you really want to be invested in man, if you really want to be, I want to compete and everything, you know what I'm saying? So for me, uh, you have to do you have to do what happens, really. No. That's what I'm feeling. How is that Lawrence, how is that fucking dumb? How is it dumb? How, how is it dumb? Bro, I want to be a pro man player, but I don't want to do the fucking work to make sure I get coins. Like, how the fuck? How is it dumb? But that's my whole point. You don't slave over the game, bro. Then it's not for you. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Bro, if you, listen, that's my. this is the whole fucking point I'm making. This is the whole fucking point. There are people slaving over the game and spending money because they want to They want to compete. Motherfuckers are doing more than you. Yes. Realize it. Wake up. Motherfuckers are working harder than me. Yes. They're playing while I'm fucking jerking off. Yes. Period. That's it. If you don't want to do it, then you're not going to be, you're going to be fucking at a disadvantage. That's it. Just like, just like, bro, Aaron Donald. What's fucking Aaron Donald doing right now? Fucking push-ups, right? Aaron, this is Aaron Donald. <laughs> right? What's some fat ass of a D-tackle doing? He might be chilling. He might be watching Ozark. But who's going to be a beast next year? Aaron fucking Donald. And you know what, and you know what the fat guy's going to say? Well, I shouldn't have to do push-ups all day to be an all-pro. That's what you fucking excuse-making bums do, man. God damn. Pisses me the fuck off, man. Yeah. Just, that just pisses me. Ow, it should it. Ow, I shouldn't have to play the game. I shouldn't have to play the game. Motherfucker said I shouldn't have to play the game for coins. Yo, what? Yo, I, 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 like, I shouldn't have to play the game or spend money for coins. That is nuts. Bro, that is nuts. I shouldn't have to play or spend money to get coins. Motherfucker just wants EA to say, yo, little Lawrence, here you go, buddy. Here, here's a million a week. Just because you're little fucking Lawrence. Here you go. Here's a million a week. I'm not, are you nuts? Are you nuts? Meanwhile, Tom, Dick, and Harry, what are we doing? Oh, it's Thursday at 4 o'clock. Let me load up and play Weekend League. Like, y'all are kidding me, bro. Like, that is nuts. Like, that is nuts. That is nuts to me, bro. No, nah, that shit, no, nah, that shit, like, motherfucker, y'all, yeah. He watching Ozark, bro. He watching Ozark. Motherfucker on weekend. Somebody, somebody playing right now. What's crazy is, Jaybird got banned. He's in a head-to-head -head right now. Jaybird's on Players Lounge right now. In eye tight, sweating. Just, why the podcast on? Jaybird's in eye tight. Swear to God, bless somebody else. As I'm bro, the demons are out here. Bro, he wanted the Madden stimulus plan. <laughs> Yo, that was nuts to me. I she said I shouldn't have to play the game or spend money to get coins. Bro, wake the fuck up, bro. Wake up. Yo, dead ass, bro. I shouldn't I, I shouldn't have to exercise and eat good to to get in shape, bro. I shouldn't have to exercise and eat good. Bro, I did it. I shouldn't have to go lift to get strong, bro. You either spend money or you spend time. One or the other. You're right. I shouldn't have to play 1K to compete, bro. You know, because people competing in basketball don't spend any money, bro, right? 
right? You want to compete in basketball, you don't you don't get a gym membership, you don't get sneakers, you, you don't get workout plans, you don't eat good, you don't spend no money in, in your job. You don't spend you, nobody invests in their in their hobby, right? People just do hobbies for fucking free. People are flying a kite for free. The Lord Jesus comes down and gives them a kite to go fucking fly a kite. People do all their other hobbies for free. The dude hiking up a mountain, you know, he hikes up barefoot, right? Right? Right, chat? Seriously, I want to know. I want to know, chat. Seriously, what hobby? What hobby is free? I'm not even talking about a job now. What? What? Jo- what? What hobby is free? Seriously, what is free to do? Seriously, y'all want to make this? Uh, this? I want Madden. To, I want to be a pro Madden player. Invest. Invest in yourself. Fortnite's free. Yeah, Fortnite's fucking free. Yeah, you're right. So if I play, if I play Fortnite three hours a night for my life, I'll be tough, right? How, yo, who is that kid that won? Bahuga, Bahuga, Duga, the kid, whatever the hell that little 14-year-old kid his name is. Let me ask, let Fortnite, we're going Fortnite. How, listen, what's his name? Who's the kid? Booga. But I don't know, I'm sorry, Booga, Bugga, who? Listen, this is my question. How much Fortnite do you think this guy Booga, Booga played, bro? How much Fortnite? That's what I want to know. How much? Do you think he played the weekend league of Fortnite? Do you think he played it? Or do you think he watched fucking Ozark? What do you think Booga did? Seriously, what do you think Booga Booga, do you think he watched Ozark? Do you think he went outside? No. What type of mouse do you think Booga had? Do you think he had this mouse? Did you think he had the HP computer library mouse? Is that the mouse he had? Or did he get a nice mouse? What computer do you think he had? What, what, let, let's be honest, because Fortnite's free. Hold on, Fortnite's free, you don't got to play a lot, you just make a million. Seriously. No, I want to know. I want to know. I just want to know. I just want to know. You know what I'm saying? Also oh, learn so so he just played competitive scr- he just played competitive scrims that's all so he just never played regulars he never hopped in and he never played no nah, you just making excuses for yourself that's all all you've done all year is make excuses I didn't get my email I can't play I can't do this I can't do that a bookie 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 the whole format is bad for me it's bad for me the whole year Lawrence has just made excuses the entire fucking year period bro you're just not that fucking good period. And if you want to be better, invest some time, invest some money. Otherwise, you're a fucking casual. That's the difference between pros and casuals. It's the difference. It is. That's the whole That's the whole thing. Period. That's it. I'm just being real. And honestly, I'm a fucking casual. When it comes to competitive, I don't spend no time on the competitive side of man. I don't. I don't. That's a good point, boys. If you don't got money, you got time. <laughs> Yo, that's it. Just saying, man. Now, see, Mike, that's where y'all don't understand, bro. Every, playing any level of the game is getting you better at the game. Period. It's like it doesn't matter if you're playing. If you're playing, if, if I play an eight-year-old, I can get better at the game. And if you guys, this is my point. If you guys don't get better at the game from playing an eight-year-old, then you're not help, You're not doing something right, honestly. All right, people who are the best in the world at rags are, are idiots. They're just idiots, honestly. I'm just, I'm, I'm all the way set, bro. And if you're the best in the world in rags, bro, playerslounge.com. Go, go win, win a twenty dollar match. Buy a fucking pack. If you want to be a pro, like I just, I can't argue with this shit. I really can't. I really can't. Yeah, the prices are dumb, bro. I win twenty games on weekend league and get five hundred k every week. What player? What player do I can I not get every week? You're right. Lamar Lamar is three million coins. You're right. What other players? What other player in the game is really that much tougher to get? Seriously, let's let's really talk about it. What play, What player is that tough to, to acquire? That costs that much money? Seriously. I'm just saying. But Lamar Lamar was Lamar was three million for a long time. I'm just saying. Rags players are Rags players on work. The only people I feel bad for, right, chat. Honestly, the only people I feel bad for are the Rags players that are completely like they have no idea that the MCS is going on, and then they're out there, you know. But I will be honest with you guys. All these guys that are tough in the MCS before the MCS, they were Rags demons. But all they had to hear was the MCS is giving out a hundred million or not. God for. Wish put just put it in there, a hundred million, put it in there, put it in there. But all they had to do was hear EA's giving out a million. Now all these ranks players are playing mud. 
That's why they are pros, bro. Bro, let, like, speak, yeah, speak into existence. One hundred million, bro. All right, listen. This is this is what I have, like, bro. It's some shit, bro. Like in life, let me tell y'all something, man. I might be wrong, bro. There's some shit in life. Now, I, a lot of you guys are younger. As before, I do this. I want a little age check. I want. I want an age. Give me an age check in the chat. There are less than 10 Madden pros, you're right. And listen, there was less than 5 last year. And there'll be 15 next year. And there'll be 20 the year after that. Leave me an age. Give me an age. I see 20s. I see the nice 17s. I see a 20, a 33. I see a 40. Come on, age, 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 age. 20, 19, 21, 21, 20, 30, 20, 20, 20. I see the age. Let's go, let's go. Now, let's go. Now, I want to I want to school you guys on something. And some of you guys may disagree with me when I say this, right? Listen. In your life, you're going to come across some shit. That's not, it's not right, man. You don't like it. And it's probably wrong and it's bad. And it, But you got to accept it sometimes, bro. It's just it, like you have to l l choose your battles to fight. Seriously. That's one thing I got to teach you guys, bro. You have to pick and choose your battles. You can't fight every battle. You can't be in here saying, bro, make, make Madden like Fortnite. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you come across shit that's, that you don't like. It's probably unethical. It's probably bad. But some shit you just have to accept and move on. And, and you can't change everything. And, and the whole this whole notion that make Madden free to play. Bro, it's like the most bodish, like, bum ass. Like, just just like, I don't want anybody that has that fucking mindset to be, to be talking in a podcast. To be honest with you. I don't. Because it's so pea brain. It's so pea brain to say some shit like that. It's P brain. Make Madden free. It's not, bro. And yeah, Madden's Madden's going down this road where you have to put money in or time or a lot of but one or the other. You have to invest in Madden. And me as somebody that has invested everything I've had in the last three years into Madden, I'm fucking okay with that. Cause there's not a person in this chat that can look me in the eye and say they have invested as much time in this game as I have. There's not. So why should you have the same fucking things that I have when I have invested everything into this game? Why would that ever be fair? Seriously. But now, oh, well, you know, I, you know, I want my team. I just want to play. Bro, seriously. Madden is a job. Madden is a job for people that you don't even see play. Madden is a job. If it's not a job for you, you are going to be behind. Period. You can try to play. You can try to compete. Just like, you know, little little John down at the YMCA, he might try to play. He might try to get a walk-on. He might try to play for the uh, G League, little open tryout. Little John at YMCA, he might go try to play in the G League. He might try. God bless. Now, that's where we go. Now, you have to pay to compete. You're right. Now, that's when it gets, as Phenom said, bro, now I'm trying to keep up. But at the same time, bro, and this is what I tell like. I don't know how I don't know how we can say, bro, don't like first of all, it's the rules. Buying coins is against the rules. No as much as we talk about it and laugh about it, it's against the rules. It's one thousand percent against the rules. It's against the rules. It is. It's against the rules. So at the end of the day, and we all know that. Like it's not like we don't know this shit, right? You know what I'm saying? It's not that we don't know that. <clears throat> Yes, and I don't know, being able to buy coins, I, I, I really don't know why they don't do it. And, and the, easy, the easy thing to say is because they'll lose money because now I don't have to buy packs and pray. Because um, I, I will tell you that buying coins is, is probably, you, you, buying coins, you will spend 25% of the money you spend if you bought packs. Yeah, that's the, exactly, but it's like, bro, it really is against the rules. Now, I don't know how they do this, how they figured out who bought coins and all that. I really don't know how that works. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know how that works or anything like that. But for me, uh, it's, it's, it, it, that's a tricky slope to go down. But um, I really, I, I really am adamant about, um, you know, not being uh, people wanting it to be free. It's, I can't keep up. I can't compete. 
bro, at the end of the day, I mean, that's that's on you. Now, I will be honest. I don't know how to how you guys play. Most now, I'll tell you, I buy coins, but most of the coins, most of that is is like I want to get the newest card so I can stream on the weekend. I want to get the night train lane. I want to get the MVP Lamar, the honors Lamar when he comes out. For me, is it was more about. You know, let me play Weekend League with the newest cards. Let me make a YouTube video with Lamar Jackson. Let me, people want to watch the new cards. More than it was, I want that card to compete. You know, so I don't know if you guys go in that same, if you guys that just play without stream and just compete, do you guys go through that same, damn, that new such and such just came out. I want to get that new Night Train Lane. Let me buy him. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if it's the same, uh, same, you know, same thought process that I have. But, um. You know, All right, but yeah, Jay Bird, you definitely need the new Clay's Campbell that comes out. Definitely. Fucking nuts, bro. This is fucking nuts. Bro, I, I, I honestly, I honestly, I honestly feel like this. Oh, listen, George, after <laughs> Golden Tickets coming out in a week, bro. Listen, if all you guys want to donate. All you guys are saying I'm done playing mad and I turned down a lot of donations, but you know what I'm saying the jobs the jobs will be flowing after after we get popped in LCQ. Yeah, I don't really know what the I, and let's 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 take a step back and realize once again we are a super super minority, bro. It, it we are a super minority in the grand scheme of Madden. That's why it's almost like, bro. That's why it comes to the it comes down to the point where it's like, bro, are these a hundred, a hundred, two hundred competitive man players buying two million coins? Are they real? Is that really that big a fucking deal? You know, is it? And that's where it's like, bro, that's a little foul, right, chat? You feel what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> like, so it's pre it is it is pretty tough. When, when you think about that, you know, we still are the minority and are those, are those four people, how many people got banned? Eight people of those eight people, whatever, are they, re is that really going to save that much? Now, now here we go with the, uh, but I will tell you, like I said, it's got to make us all scared. Like, bro, I don't want to, I don't want to have to try to compete and then buy coins. That's rough. That's a rough, uh. Yeah. I, I would assume that EA is uh, EA is making you know yeah maybe style you gotta make an example of somebody you know I, I I don't know who the hell else they would ban really well we gonna run with Vic uh, we gonna run with Vic <laughs> for one game <laughs> is is LCQ d double elimination is it double limb? In that case, we'll have fun. One last heist. I mean, now I'm in the bracket. I can go buy some coins, right? I can go buy some coins right now, right? No, but seriously, man. You guys just learn, bro. Uh, you just got to learn. Honestly, this is how I feel about the email. That's your own fault, bro. I, I don't want to hear no excuses about emails, bro. I really don't. I have been I have been in... in let me tell you some chat. I have been in... in 20 online EA tournaments have never, ever, 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 ever had a problem with emails. Ever. Ever in my life. I, I really don't know. I don't understand the email thing. And I, I mean, it's, I, I just feel like, I just feel like it's kind of unfortunate. You know, I really do feel like, I feel like nobody really got done dirty. I don't really know the details, but I just feel like it's just, it's on your own, bro. And that's when it's like, bro, you play, like, like, say I didn't get my email, right? And I probably talk to Buzz and Trey Skimbo, like, every day, like, yo, what's up? Did y'all get your emails? Like, as soon as I see somebody got my email, bam, now I'm in my spam folder. Now I'm checking this email. Now I'm checking this angle. Bro, now DM this guy, that person, you know? You know, that's all. Relinquish. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm. Listen, we ready to lock in, baby. I'm just not sweating it the same. That's all. It's so weird. Like I, I was like, oh, I was all the way over Madden, and then, boom. Now they put it back in your lap. Let's, let's get it. Honestly, the biggest thing is just, uh, it's just, my team is ass because it is Michael Vick guy. But we'll talk about that tomorrow.
Damn. Yeah, they dropped the Vic is Vic is three hundred. Yeah, I don't know no. I've I've done both ways. I've done both ways. I've done uh, like real real locked in all that stuff, but uh, really, you know. So that 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 I I just I just am really adamant about bro being playing Madden at this this level is it's a it's an investment bro it's not something you do casually and i want y'all to understand that and and if you're trying to do it casually yes there's some people that are just just play that good make runs everything and they play part time bro and those guys good for them but at the end of the day they are going to get surpassed simple and plain me, myself, I have been surpassed because I haven't put attention and detail into the competitive side of Madden, period. So you're telling me that somebody with a regular job is is not is going to stay up there consistently? No, I just it's just not going to happen, bro. It is 1,000% an investment. All right. See, this is this is why like this, they're banning people instead of fixing the game for pros and casuals. These are why we put this the chat on sub only for the podcast, bro. Because people say shit like that, bro. Like that. That's why. And and and, and the worst part is somebody on tw somebody on YouTube is going to read that over there and be like, bro, what the hell, like. I'm saying. That's all. But I do want to talk about the streams, man. Uh, I do want to talk about if you guys should stream, if you guys shouldn't, bro. I, that, that's what I want to talk about. I do want to talk about streaming these games, and I feel like we have talked about this a lot this year. Uh, stream. Stream the games. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, obviously, it's a disadvantage, but this is how I feel about... This is how I feel about... Um, this, is how, this is how I feel about... This is how I feel about streaming competitive games right now i've always felt if i'm on a leaderboard with tom dick and harry i'm going to play tom dick and harry and tom dick and harry is going to have an idea what i'm running now if all of a sudden you are just oceans 11 and you're pulling a heist and now all of a sudden you're running eye tight where you never ran that on a leaderboard yeah maybe you shouldn't stream you know uh but also at the same time uh, if you're doing the same old shit if you're running the same old bunch or the same old you know eye tight or eye close or Whatever the hell offenses are, are, and by the way, as as I do a side note on this topic, this is the most offenses that I feel like there have ever been in Madden, especially this time of year. Just putting that out there, uh, and, and as much as we hate, as much as we complain about the game, it's the same plays. Um, the Reddit guys are in here. I know they're in here. There's 600 people in here. The Reddit guys are here. Oh, it's the same plays. The same. Nobody wants to watch the same. Bro, it's a bunch of duff of different fucking offenses right now. A bunch of different type of quarterbacks, bunch of different type of running backs, but there's people that run a lot, there's people that pass a lot, there's people that blitz a lot, there's people that play cut. Bro, it is so much shit. As much as the game might be ass, and y'all might not watch the watch the game, watch the all that, bro, there's so many different offenses to watch. So that whole and you know, I hate it's the same play. Nobody wants to watch them cheese and exploit the game. There's so many different offenses right now, honestly. And, and, and as much as much as we uh, we kill the game, at some point you got to give them a little bit of credit for that. There are a lot of different offenses going on, and and and, and it, I guess it's good, and we shall see. Now get back to the stream. Um, there's a lot of people now. Me, I I, I well, I've talked about the sub only stream. I feel like all you guys that are at this tournament is worth making it a sub stream. I and I as I thought about this going into the podcast during the day, I, I thought I thought fifty viewers is. I mean, maybe 30 viewers. If you like, if you turn on Madden, bro, right, and uh, you get like 30, you get 30 viewers. I, I feel like you should be on a sub stream. I, I really feel that way. Cause if you have, uh, this is what I'm saying. Um, if you have a sub stream, uh, I feel like one. If you have 30 viewers or anything, if you have 30 viewers, you probably have four or five subs. Now. Honestly, I'm I'm a different level of streamer, and, but if I if I was a 30 viewer streamer and I had five fucking subs, right? I would be hype as shit for them five people, bro. Like I'm hyped for y'all. That's up to me. Like it's still cool as shit to see y'all chat and all these the the needed emblem come up on everybody's name. To me, that's still super cool. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, if you have 10 or 15 subs. So, what we have to get away. What we have to get away from from substream is, bro, you're doing it to make money. How about you take an angle to where I am doing it for the 5, 10, 15 people that have subbed to me when I was playing Weekend League? You know, the people that really fuck with me. Why can't it be for that? You know what I'm saying? Shout out my man Tech Mode with the Gifted. Why? You know what I'm saying, chat? Like, why can't it be for that? Why can't it be to give the people that have been supporting you all year something to watch? Now, if somebody, if somebody new turns on the subs, God bless them too. All right, big streamers don't help small streamers. Okay. Now, I, I, there, listen, I, I, Vasquez, I don't know what the hell, I, I don't know what more I got to do for, for Madden streamers, bro. I don't know what Madden streamer in here I haven't hosted or helped to, like, at any level, like, in here. Like, no, I don't want to ban it because I really don't, it, I, I feel like it is my job to help people. It's not my job, but it's part, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because people help me, honestly. No, for real, like, and people take it like, oh, you just trying to make money. At the end of the day, yes, because I've put myself in position to make money. Yeah, that's the whole point of the, the streaming grind. So if you're streaming for 30 people every day, boom, and you got 10 subs, you've put yourself in position to make that money. Then also, you've put yourself in position to, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to be in the tournament. Not only have you put yourself in position to have your 10, 15 subs, you have put yourself in the position to be one of the, the best man players in the world. Because let's, let's not confuse it. If you're in this tournament, you are one of the, the top 300 man players in the entire world, period. Not probably less, but probably you're in the top 150 man players in the world. So one, you're at the top level of your profession. Boom, you've been grinding a stream. So for me, yes, you absolutely 1,000% deserve to be on a sub-only stream, honestly. Now, and that's what people say. Now, that's what Jesse says. And people say this. This is the counter-argument to the sub-stream. Oh, you'll bring in more people for, you'll bring in more people for if you keep it open. That's true. But this is my question to you. Shout out my man, Big Bully, with the, you know what I'm saying? Jet Life with my guy with the three months with the sub. Thank you. Now, now this is where we go to. So, now, and so we go to the point where, boom, okay, you'll bring in more people if you keep it open. Yes, you'll have more viewers. But, let's see. This is what I'm saying. So, the guy that gets the 30 viewers, he might have 100. And then, where will they go the next day? Where will those viewers go the next day? And he might get 50 followers. Where will those 100 viewers go the next day? And you got to realize, man, those people are... Listen, those people are... I honestly, I've done... Obviously, I've done both. I've done both. Because I've always streamed the tournament games. And I've always... And this year, it's always been sub only, bro. For real. Because uh, for me, I just think... I just think one stream, one pop and stream will never build a uh, will never build you as a play, as a streamer. Period. It will never it will never make your stream. one pop and stream, two pop and stream, five pop and streams will never make you as a streamer. Period. Will never ever do it. And I don't think there's an example of somebody that has one stream and all of a sudden they're popping. You know what I'm saying. I, but I don't want someone coming. But that's my point, Jesse. Is that, is that boom? It's not going to make your stream. It's not. It's not. As much as like, it's really, it's really not. Jay, well, I would you. I would one thousand percent do sub only. Yes, I am. I am encouraging all you guys to do sub only. Cause this is what I'm saying, Jay. This is my point. When I tell you this, it's like, bro, you you stream with D Croft. Let me. Y'all probably have X amount of subs, right? So these dudes fuck with y'all. Listen, so these dudes fuck with you guys regardless. Whether you're playing the leaderboards, whether you're playing Monopoly, whether you're playing Weekend League, whether you're doing a podcast. They are sub to you. So that's my whole point. You have to look at it as I'm doing it for those guys rather than I'm doing it for the new, new subs. And obviously you'll get new subs, which is a good thing for sure. I 1000% think everybody that gets over like 30 viewers a man consistently, if you can boot up a man stream tomorrow and get 30 viewers, I feel like you, you should be sub only, bro. And honestly, this is my point. And this is my point. And if people don't watch you, what would he fucking do? Tomorrow it'll be free to watch me play Madden. That's all. And if they don't want to invest, that's on them. They don't see where this is going. They don't value man that high. And you know what I'm saying? Okay, Dirk. And people say that. What about the people that are in your chat 24-7 that can't afford to sub? 
I can afford to gift you a sub. If I recognize your name, because because right, if if they're that look, Dirk, that's my point. If if you're in my chat twenty four seven, I will recognize your name, right? That I'm saying, I will recognize your name. I will recognize. I'll recognize people that are barely in my chat. You know. So at that point, boom. One, I can gift the sub, and there's a thousand other motherfuckers that will gift the sub. Really, I don't think there. I don't think. I don't think there's somebody that really watches the, like, and y'all know each other. That's the craziest part about Twitch. Like, Twitch is the key to the man community. Like, Je like, like, bro, Jesse initiated my man Oriel. All like all these dudes that are always in the chat, right? Like, I Jesse's probably the ass at man, right? But if he booted the stream, I might go kick it in there. Like, what's up? I want to see if he ass, right? You know what I'm saying? X Factor, like all these people that are mine, my man Witness, like all these people that are mine just because the, but they're part of the community just because of that shit, bro. And that's why I mean when people say if they're in your sub, if they're in your channel all the time but they can't sub, then you guys would know that they're in, that they're, you know what I'm saying, that they've been in the channel, honestly. Sal, bro, that's what I'm saying. That, that, that and that's, I'm telling you, bro. Jesse, because uh, you was, you had typed. So I feel like it's always it's a shout out to my man, uh, my man Cam with the sub. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? That's all. I just really feel like, yeah, I really feel like, all right, my man, I, my Jones got timed out for some shit, but I gotta give him the sword back too, bro. <laughs> but he got timed out for something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Henry. Like, and, and I know that. Like, so if that person whispered me like, "Yo, I want a sub, bro," I got you. That's not a big deal, bro. Seriously. So I really don't see the downside. I, I honestly I don't see the downside. I feel like anybody over thirty viewers should be a sub only, bro. And that's the only way. And that's the only Georgia creeper with that gift. And honestly, that's the only way we we that's how we can do our job to just build the worth of all this competitive man thing. Like this is what competitive man is worth. You know? You wanna make you, we want to talk about it's hard being a pro. It's hard, you know, making money being a pro. This is, you get this three times a year. This opportunity to make Madden, competitive Madden worth something, to have it worth people's time and money, this is our opportunity that we can do and make this an easier thing to be a pro. This is the opportunity to do that. You know, and if you're not taking advantage of that opportunity, then, I mean, shit. How can we then turn around and say they make it hard to be a pro? Really? And, and honestly, substream only that it might be it might be a partner thing only. I'm really not sure. You know, the hen rock tomorrow or the blood. We going with the black hennies. I really just feel like this is our our opportunity to make the worth of competitive man higher than it is really. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. That's how I'm feeling, like, bro. And honestly, I'll be honestly, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm probably not paying to watch y'all play. I mean, I'm probably not. And people probably won't, but some people will. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, anyone with a sub button can do it. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's how I feel, bro. Cause all everybody got subs. Everybody has subs and people that fuck with you, this, that, and the third. Like, real rap. Like, you can, like, and do it for them, bro. And do it for yourself. Exactly, Kep. Someone else going to price of admission, bro. And how, and, and, and this is what I'm saying, man. Like, bro, you're, fu yo, you are, you got to step back, bro. Because, yet, like, okay, you're not Kiv or, or, or Skimbo or, you know what I'm saying, or, or whoever the hell. You're not the best player in the world. Bro, but, but you are a top 100 man player. You qualify for the last chance tournament. This was the hardest tournament to qualify for. You qualified for this shit, bro. You are a top 100 talent at something in the world, at a profession. You are top 100 in the entire world, bro. If it's not worth five dollars, then fuck them. That's how I feel, and I feel like we lose that because we're like in this cocoon of the Madden community, right? This tight little, this tight five hundred people or whatever. We're in this cocoon, and we lose lose like 
you know, just the the awareness of the rest of the man world, the rest of regular people, bro. Seriously. The game is to be sold exactly, and I feel the same way about like ebooks and shit like that, bro. Like, it's worth it, man. Well, that for sure, and that's and that's what's crazy is that we stream all day for free. You know what I mean? Like you can watch people play Madden for free. Like, I, I, I was watching Fancy, I was watching K Mac, I was watching, bro. I be watching D Croft. I be watching Civil. I be like, all these people play Madden. Now, I don't watch Throne. I watch Throne, but I don't like watch him play to get better. But I watch Throne. You know what I'm saying? So all these people stream for free. All the time. Literally, all the time they stream for free. So it's not like you don't have the opportunity to play to watch them play Madden. That's what you gotta understand, bro. TNC, t- I'm, a, I'm a TNC fan. I'm a fan of those guys. Yeah, don't be Aaron like, bro. Thank you, Tim. That's it. Well, we uh, listen. We set the market, and this and this is what you said. As we set the ebook market, we set the substream market, bro. Seriously, like, how can? That's my point. How? Why would somebody pay for? Why would pay, somebody pay for J Wall substream if I wasn't substream? Right? I feel like as. As you know what I'm saying, as one of the bigger streamers in the tournament, as D so gifted the sub, let's get it. As one of the bigger streamers in the tournament, it's my job to set the standard. You know what I'm saying, Chad? Like, okay, this is the standard for competitive man. Boom. Now, if y'all if y'all don't want to follow it, that's cool. But honestly, and and and, and I would love, and for those of you guys, for those of you guys that are gonna stream and you don't want to put it on sub only, I want you to write down how many followers I have. How many subs I have before this tournament? Like right now, I want you to write it down. And next week, I honestly, honestly, if anybody wants to participate in this shit, next week I would love, I would seriously love to see what the numbers are. Seriously, because I, I, I'll tell you guys what it is for me. I'll tell what it is for the next guy and this, that, and third. Like really, like what what the different levels are. Really, really. And for me, it's like, uh, it's just weird. Like, okay, like say, okay, if I, uh, if I, if I, if I did an open stream, right, I might have a thousand, twelve hundred people in there, right? Okay, that'd be cool. But it's like, where were those, you know, five hundred people when I was playing weekend league, bro? Where were those guys then? You know? And who knows? I'm saying. And do those people really fuck with me? Obviously, they're probably all gonna be my followers. I don't know if I get any more followers. There you go, hell. That's what you do it for, bro. You do it for the six subs. There you go. I'm telling you, write it down, hell. Write down your followers and your subs, bro. Whatever it may be. I'm going to swing at every other type of throw type of guy now. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now I want to talk about the bracket. Let's talk about the bracket. Did you guys look at the bracket? How are they looking? I don't. I'm not really a big bracket person, bro. I'm not. I'm not. I feel like. It, I feel like, if you are a, 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 a what you call it. I'm saying, if you are a bracket person, I don't know. I feel like you start looking ahead, rather than looking at at your opponent, essentially. Bracket challenge. No, the bracket challenge. I'll be honest. The uh, the what's gonna call it messed up the bracket challenge. Double elimination messed up bracket challenge for real, for real. All right. This is. Uh, somebody already beat. Damn. Somebody. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I mean, t- I feel like shit ain't even open. Somebody got popped. Damn. Eh. All right. Oh man, Jeffy with the sub. Appreciate you, man. Uh yeah, the bracket challenge is dumb, bro. It's not the same. It's only one bracket challenge per year. 
Um, Chaotic Flame, as we get to the top of this, this is Crush, I believe. This is Crush. Uh, he has a buy because he was number one. Uh, Mr. Histic, uh, J Smooth, uh, Munchies. Uh, chat, this is PlayStation. Please help me if these dudes are tough. I don't know none of these dudes, bro. Yeah, Yars, they got his shit up out the way, boys. I really don't know none of these guys, really. Uh, I really don't know none of these. Legend, my guy, versus Madden Elite. That's a tough little first round matchup. Poison. Dream Chaser. I don't know what that is, but Poison. Jimmy Neutron, I believe. I think I know who this I think I'm supposed to know who this is. I don't know. D Rose. I don't know if this is the real D Rose. Seronius. Versus Space Jam. Uh, Golden Glover. Dream. I Mercs. Bedford. I don't really know none of these dudes, bro. Honestly. Y'all weird on PlayStation. Skimbo versus Big L O. Big Low. I might like Big Low. Are any of these dudes do one 1,000 cap defense? Attracted to excellence. You know what I'm saying? That's the fake skimbo, yeah. No, that's not really skimbo. <clears throat> Anti-hero, bro. Thunderball. I used to call him Thunderball, but I know he's Thunderball. I, honestly, I don't know none of these dudes. Han Solo up in there, okay. The illest. JS the best. Bro, I gotta get a PlayStation, bro. A Radiant, okay. Gun Bunch. Joel, is this the real Joel? Pavin, Chiggs, Sensational, whole lot of blast. Oh, that's a little foreskin. Okay, okay. Look, user in the chat. User making an appearance. I feel like user ain't been around in like two weeks, bro. Fez did a big sweep, bro. I don't know. If, I don't. Radiant's playing from from Philly. But that is PlayStation, bro. Like I said, favorites, obviously, Skimbo, Pavin. And, and as PlayStation guys, give me somebody that I don't know that's, like, like y'all told me Noah was tough before the challenge, bro. Kratobin's in here. JS has been playing some pretty decent man this year, honestly. Give me somebody that's, like, I don't know that's going to pop up, bro, honestly. Yardstick is pretty tough. I heard Versace was pretty good. Yeah, that's what people told me. Skimbo told me he's kind of tough. Versace, some Versace. He was like, yeah, that guy's kind of decent. Who else we got? Dirty Dan is Allen. Where, where's Allen at? Yeah, I heard that was Allen. Dirty Dan. I don't know where the hell he's at, though. Oh, I'm Dirty Dan. Yeah. Yeah, po Skimbo did say Poison was halfway decent. I watched him play a dream hack. Eh. Kobo, where's Kobo? Where's, where's Kobo? What's Kobo's name? Oh, here the Kobo versus Joel first game. It's not bad. Yeah, he told me Kobo was pretty decent too. Radiant. Okay, okay, okay. So who do you guys like? Like, if you had to pick, give me four. If you had to pick four names, bro. If I if I came down here, I got four names to get out of here. I'll give you four names. Give me your four names that you would pick, bro. Because obviously I'd pick Skimbo. I'd probably pick Pavin. I probably just go with the favorite. Pavin got a lot of experience. Space Jam. But I heard Crush is Crush is Crush is tough. I mean he's the number one seed for a reason, bro. Okay, okay. Manu, Pavin, Skimbo, Spoto. What's Spoto's name? Is it Spoto? Joel Versace, Pavin, Skim. Okay, okay. Athena Sun. You guys are fucking losers, bro. Okay, okay, okay. That's and that that's that's PlayStation, bro. So we shall see we shall see what what is what it's looking like, man. Honestly. Yeah, I don't know all them dudes. I'm glad y'all know them. See, I I need I I really need like a 
A Jaybird is supposed to be the uh, the PS4 re representative here. Like he's supposed to know all these people. Now Kip already in Madden Ball, so he don't gotta play. All right, but that's like I said, Crush, Skimbo, dudes are tough. It's it, it is tough going in the game being like the favorite though. I mean, those guys are the favorites. Jaybird said the whole bracket sucks. Okay, there you go. We're gonna play tomorrow around 10 p.m. But this is Xbox. Here we go with Fancy. Uh, no, see, Fancy grinds the game, bro. Like Fancy probably has so many coins because Fancy don't get off the game. He's number one here. He wins tw weekend league every weekend. Like Fancy doesn't get off the game, bro. Like there, that's a perfect example. So these kids, so I, I don't want to play. I don't, I, I, I don't want to have to play the game or spend money to compete with Fancy. That's what they want. Now, I, bro, can't nobody compete with Fancy, bro. Jerisco PK Deliverance. Okay, well, we're going to get a Deliverance. Yo, who's Clint o Odenbaum? I feel like I like PK Deliverance over him, bro. This is all. Oh, yeah, PK Floods. PK Floods. PK Floods. So we're going to get PK versus T Fancy round two. Boom, that's going to be popping. I think Salty is ass, bro. Uh, you're right. PK don't flood nobody. He fights, but he he's he's gonna win the fight. Bro, PK is the king of fighters, bro. Y'all really wanna bet against a guy that tuck his ears in his hat. Y'all are tripping. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, AG. Yeah, PK, I don't think he got flood abilities, bro. Then we got Saint. Then we got Saint. Oh my man, Saint versus uh, the Dunge. I don't know who the Dunge is. Big hard for big, die hard for big blue. Go for it. If these are anybody that I, I don't really know, bro, y'all gotta tell me, man. You guys are just fucking losers, bro. Tweeds versus comfy door, bro. If y'all want to pay five dollars to watch that, that's what I mean. That's the y'all the problem with Madden. You guys are the problem with Madden, bro. That's AKG, Jesus, bro. If y'all want to pay five dollars to watch that, y'all the problem with competitive Madden. I'll be honest. Justin, okay, he got some shit about the way versus si si Silencer? Silencer? Oh, this is fucking Call of Duty Pro? Bro, you can't have a Call of Duty name playing Madden, bro. You can't have a Call of Duty name playing Madden. You just all instantly suck, bro. You guys know what I'm talking about. You can't have a Call of Duty name playing Madden. Then we got Hale versus JPT Mike. D Croft versus H who, yo, who's Hambino, bro? Chat, who's Hambino? Is that like a real person? Phase, you can't be phase, you can't be phase optic. Who's Hambino? That's real pretty. Okay, Hambino versus D Croft. Okay, I might like the hand bone. You know what I'm saying Hambino's a hell name, I'll be honest. Kicking class, upper kicking eagle, upper class. Jesus. Skins versus Willie Peets. Isn't like Willie Peets uh isn't he a uh one of y'all uh Dynamis dudes, one of the DNL dudes or something? The DNL dudes, bro. I be seeing the little DNL motherfuckers, bro. I be seeing you little DNL dudes, bro. Yeah, you see, they be trying to grind, bro. You know when it was crazy when I saw a tweet, who wants to join DNL? That's when I knew shit was crazy. People want to join this little crew called DNL. Like, bro, Madden is popping. Like, shit. Yeah, Ghost, I, know, I already know Ghost was a lot of numbers, bro. You know what I'm saying? All right, but then we got Z Thumbs versus A Dot. That's a slobber knocker. Oh, I'm up here. My man Nini versus Funeral Service. Okay. Chi Chi Rito, Coach Cuddy, Banks IQ, and Joker. Now I got to play Quan. I got to play Quani. I was going to play Jotomy, but now I got to play Quani, which is cool. <clears throat> so we got to play this tomorrow. See, that's why I don't even really look at like the other part of this shit, really. I'll just look right here. That's all. Then we got Kane. This is Kane's cover two. You know what I'm saying? Phenom versus Ghost. That's a good game. Boom. I would pay $5 for that. That's my points. Some Serious versus M. Keats. 
Pee everybody on to some serious train, bro. Everybody's on to some serious train. I'm I'll be honest. I'm really not on the train. I'm not on the train. Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Okay, he got something out of here. Who's Ed, Ed, and Eddie? I don't know Ed, Ed, and Eddie. But he popped already. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't want no parts of him. Yeah, he's hell. Yeah, that dude's a fucking run committing demon. Nick Hacko. Jet Life. K Mac. Okay, we might have a K Mac. I, I don't know, bro. This is too. This is too jet passing motherfuckers right here. This is gonna be the jet pass, the jet touch pass Super Bowl right here. Civil and VA dimes, bro. That is a jet pass Super Bowl right there, boys. They're gonna be jet passing the shit out of people. Yeah, but then we got K Mac. Yeah, they didn't play K. -Mac. I don't know TB Reese is, but he played K Mac. Then Blocky's out here. Who's GG's rematch? T more. Who, who's GG's? Let me got J Wall, Vin. Oh. Franchise. Franchise has been sneaky, annoying to play. I wonder if he's still going 10 cap quarterback. I don't know what he's doing. Team Elijah is another runner, I believe. Trey King's another runner. Lizards. Lasers. Lizards. I don't know who that is. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a hand job to me and rob the builder. So, like I said, four names to win this. Obviously, I'm I'm frying shit. So I'm gotta be one pick. Then I gotta go fan everybody gonna go fancy. Fancy gonna be like the skimbo of Xbox. My man tweeds, bro. Pro yo, and this dude problem child. Bro, problem child, bro. I don't know if you I don't think I played him, but bro, so many people bitch and complain about playing him, bro. He's a demon. So problem child, bro. He got to be, I, bro, I'm telling you, he making a run. I'm telling you. And Ghost, too. I think Ghost is good. Some people don't think Ghost is right. I think Ghost is really good. Uh, see? Gene know about problem. I'm telling you, bro. They the people be telling you he's a scumbag. Yo, the one thing about Madden, man, the more people say you're a scumbag, the better you're doing. Honestly, the better you're doing. Honestly, the more people complain, the more people complain, and, and, and uh, what you call it, the more people complain and, and put you on Twitter about how you suck, the better you're busting their ass. Honestly. Then there's no more running notebook. Why? Because it's three three five wide. Is three three five wide the 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 zero is the is that the run defense for the uh, for the no cap quarterbacks? Look, you already know I'm frying shit. Okay, 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 okay. JPT Mike. Yeah, Volt definitely know how to run, bro. I don't fancy. I want. I, I want to see. I want to see a quarterback. I wish I knew, bro. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. I was so. I'll be honest with you. I was so cool playing Jada me because I know what offense he run. I know how to set up a defense. Quani, I have no idea, bro. I got. It's, it, Quani got a leaderboard team. Like, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see. But we'll have fun for sure. It'll definitely be fun. Uh, I'm excited about it. It's going to be a blast this week, man. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely going to be a blast. So, like I said, all you guys, we'll see, man. If you, I want, Like I said, if you guys want to stream, you don't got to do the sub only. Like I said, I am. I, that's what I will do for tournaments for the rest of my streaming life, bro. If you don't want to pay, then you can watch me play man for free pretty much every single day. So, you feel me, chat? That's just how I feel about that. Mm. Game, uh, we're shooting around 10 p.m. tomorrow for me at least. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun week for real. 
Yeah, looking like 24 hours from now, tomorrow night. So, like I said, this was the Need a Podcast, episode 74. We had over 600 people in this joint. The podcast is popping. Next week's going to be even more popping because we're going to have find who wins the uh, wins the LCQ. It's going to be a good time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we'll have some gameplay to talk about. Uh, we'll see. You know what I'm saying? You know, Skimbo's on the PlayStation side, man. You know what I'm saying? So, my man Throne with the sub, bro. Throne got his ticket already. One month street for Throne. Boom, there it is. <laughs> Alright, Roseball, I was thinking, you know, when, I, when I make another man event, definitely definitely gonna have the eye black in the pocket. If shit gets rough, we gonna t- <laughs> put it, take it out, bro. Bro, this podcast was an hour and a half, bro. My man RJM with the Twitch Prime. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I just, the only thing that makes me mad, bro, I I really hate the people that, like, think Madden should be easy. Like, being a pro Madden player should be easy. It should be accessible for everybody. You know, that's the one thing. And and, and the biggest thing about it, bro, is, like, there is a tournament like that. There is a tournament where you just sign up and you play. There's one of them. You know, for all the people that, oh, it's because that's your tournament, bro. Go win that one. You know? And listen, think about it. Two, three years ago, they didn't even have that. Nah, I can't rally cat base football, bro. Podcast needs to see this. I'll tell you what, talking this much, like, nonstop, like, streaming. Streaming is one thing because you, like, can catch your breath a little bit, like. But just a podcast nonstop talking is like, bro. I'll be getting yawning like shit. Exactly, bro. Show up and play. You don't got to pay for nothing. You don't need a team. You show up and play. Really. Force him. What's up, man? Get a helmet? Do I grab a helmet tomorrow? I'll be hell. Go helmet. Ah, uh, Clef, bro. Don't nobody take it serious, bro. Don't nobody be locked in like me. Put a do-rag on. Uh, looking like 10 p.m. Tecmo. Eastern. Yo, do-rag would be hell, bro. Yeah, we're going to play. We're going to do some shit tonight. Tomorrow, I'll probably lock in and play Madden a little bit. I just feel like, bro, I'm just like, let's rock, bro. Two-tone do-rag. I got to go to the corner store and get the two-tone do-rag. You know what I'm saying? I do got the dickhead hat too. My man Jay with the gifted. I mean, I would wear that Eagles helmet behind me, but it's like a fake helmet or something. It's like a like a it's just like a prop helmet. So there's like it's like no you can't put it on because it's like I don't know how to explain it. It's like filled or it's like there's like a it's like solid on the inside. Surgical mask. Durag might come out. My man Mike with a sub, man. 24 months straight, two years. Let's go, man. He got the red badge. Where the red badge gang at in the chat, boys? Red badge gang different. Now the green badge gang. That's that's like extra different, bro. But you know the red badge. Oh my man, there he is. Snoop with the red badge. Okay. Okay, trick out the blue badge. He a blue badge type. Hit the salts. So definitely gonna hit the salts, bro. Put Tim's on. I mean, Shakobi's really a founder. I'm mad that it says founder next to Shakobi's name in my chat. It couldn't say top first 10 sub or something. That just says founder. Shakobi is a founder of my chat, bro. Bro, we on the diamond, Jesse. The worst part was, I just went, let me say, this was the Need a Podcast, episode 74. 74 episodes, bro. Now, what I started realizing too, chat, was like the 100th episode is going to be like mid Madden 21 season, bro. That's what's going to be nuts. But I appreciate y'all. Hit that like button.